in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing all the different brands of Class A gas motorhomes and answer that very common question. Which one is the best? Is it a Winnebago? Is it a Tiffin? Is it a Thor? If this question has been on your mind, then stick around because today I'm going to give you my in-depth review and we're starting in three, two, Welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, the world's only channel that gives you the true unbiased review on everything about RVs. And again, today we're tackling that tough question about which brand of RV Class A gas motorhome reigns superior. You know, when you go to an RV dealership, you have one salesman telling you it's this brand and another one telling you it's this brand. Are they lying or are they both being truthful? Well, to get down to this, you have to understand that there is four different levels of class A gas motorhomes, like comparing an F-150 to a Chevy 1500 and a Ford Mustang to a Chevy Corvette, just different classes of motorhomes. Follow me and I'll show you the way. So understanding that there's four different levels of class a gas motorhomes here's what i'm going to do at the end of the video i'm going to go over every manufacturer and tell you where every single one of their brands how they fall into an order but for right now we have to identify what's a level one motorhome and what's a level four so with that right here i have a thor ace and a thor challenger and i'm going to show you all the exterior features which makes this challenger a level four and which makes this ace a level one so first if we can pan over here michael an entry level class one motorhome is going to have stickers and decals it's fiberglass sides sometimes they'll have high gloss or whatever but this is what it is it's stickers and decals and you can feel it just like that whereas on a level four motorhome you're going to have full body paint this is beautiful this is nice and full body paint runs somewhere around ten thousand dollars for the manufacturers to do so they only put this on their high-end stuff not their lower end stuff next when it comes to the exterior it's going to be the chassis size so uh the chassis size can be the wheelbase can be 178 inches to 190 to 208 and it keeps going farther the farther the wheelbase, the longer the motorhome, the better the ride. And not only that, the big indicator between a high end and a low end is the tire size. Now, on a low end motorhome, you're gonna have these tires that are 19.5 inch. Not as nice as over here on a higher end motorhome. This right here, you can see that they're 22.5 inch tires. Bigger tires means it's a better ride. Not only that, it's an indication that you're getting a bigger chassis. And what the bigger chassis does is two things. One, it makes it able so you're able to have more weight, more slide outs, which I'll touch in on the inside, but exterior storage. Right here, on a level one motorhome, you don't get really great exterior hang on you get great exterior storage but you just get even better exterior storage there but here's what some of your exterior storage is and this is the door as you can see here it's a fiberglass door that shuts it whereas over here on a high-end motorhome you get these great big slam latch aluminum doors you know you're getting a lot more storage Touching on it again, because a bigger chassis, longer motor home, and then this is just built a lot better. And when these shut, you know it. Slam latch aluminum doors. But those are just some of the key factors on the outside for level ones and level fours. And again, a level two and a level three is going to have some features mixed in all together. But uh, we're actually going to go this way, and now we're going to show you some interior differences on two other different motorhomes. Follow me! 
great. So now we're checking out the inside. This is what your typical level one motorhome looks like. You have a single slide out. Sometimes you'll have a slide out in the bed area. Your furniture over here in the upholstery, it's, you know, it's nice, it's comfortable, don't get me wrong. You're dropping 80 something, $100,000. You're getting nice stuff, but it's not as plush as when we look all over to the level four motorhome. Your countertop over here, is, this is a laminate. Here's your sink and your appliances. You have an oven, a small microwave. You know, you get your RV style refrigerator. Again, all of these are great. It's just different levels. And then another big, big factor here is the AC units. Uh, level one motorhomes, a lot of times they'll be 30 amp. So you can only have one AC unit. Whereas all of the level two motorhomes, they'll all be 50 amp. And then checking out the bathroom area. If you want to get over here, Michael. So here's your shower. You're going to have a plastic shower. And then if you can somehow, Michael, show this. This is normal and it's supposed to be like this. But I have a lot of customers comment on it. But nothing's wrong with this. It's just not as fancy as the other one. Neither is the toilet. I'm sorry, Michael. Neither is the toilet. The toilet in here is going to be a plastic toilet, whereas we're about to take a look at the other one. I think I touched on everything, right? Come on. Great, so here we are in a tier four motorhome. And as you can tell, you can just see the difference. The furniture is going to be a, not, a lot nicer, more plush, nicer finishes, more electronic components. Check this out. Over here you have all the lights, your slide out controls. You're able to control everything like this. Also, it does have solar. The higher end motorhomes are gonna be the first ones to have these solar features. In the kitchen area, you can see your great quality cabinetry, high gloss, solid surface countertop throughout. I don't know, this brand doesn't look like it's Corian. Sometimes they use Corian, but Corian's really just a name brand. It's all gonna be the same, really nice high-end feature. Oops. You'll start getting into induction in the nice stuff. No ovens. Some people don't like that, but you are getting the real big microwave convection ovens. Two AC units throughout, 50 amp always. And then this level is where you're starting to see the very nice residential refrigerators. This has the ice maker and it has the uh, water thing. And what's great about these fridges, they don't run off propane. They have a 2000 watt inverter dedicated just to run the refrigerator. So this is a level four bathroom. You know, you're gonna get a nice countertop. Check out this toilet here. You have a nice porcelain toilet. And then this shower area is what I'm talking about. This has a one piece fiberglass shower, which if you can see down there, there's no seams. This is very, very expensive for the manufacturers to do that. So this is why typically you will only see these on a level four motorhome. Great, so now we just identified what features make a motorhome a level one and what features make a motorhome a level four. whoop de doo what does it all mean, Basil? It means there's no one best brand of Class A gas motorhome. Going back to the salesman reference, again, the one salesman telling you it's this brand and the other salesman's telling you it's this brand. They're not lying because they are showing you the best brands that they represent at their dealership. So for Class A gas motorhomes, there's 11 different manufacturers and there's four different levels of Class A gas motorhome. It doesn't matter who the manufacturer is, if it's a tier four motorhome, you're buying a great quality motorhome, period. It doesn't matter if it's 
a Tiffin or a Winnebago or a Newmark. It's kind of like, it's opinionated. It's just like when somebody is a diehard Ford person and they say, I will never buy a Chevy, I'm only buying a Ford. Or that Chevy person saying, I'm only going to buy a Chevy, Ford's a piece of crap. It's all opinionated because once it's a tier four and it has all those tier four features, or at least most of them, then you know you're buying a great quality motorhome. Let me go over all the manufacturers in all the tier four motorhomes just so you have them as a reference point. For Tiffin, you have the Allegro. Numar, the Canyon Star. Fleetwood, you have the Bounder slash Southwind. That one's a little confusing. I'll explain that in another video, and I'll have that video in the description below. For Thor, it's your Challenger. For your Forest River, it's your Georgetown XL. Coachman, it's the Murata Select. Jayco is your Precept Prestige. Integra Coach, you have the Emblem. For Winnebago, you have your Sightseer. And for your Atasca, you have your Sun Nova. Now, a couple little asterisks there. Notice how for the Forest Rivers and the Coachmans and the Jaycos, it's not a Georgetown, it's a Georgetown XL. Or it's not a Murata, it's a Murata Select. Or it's not a Jayco Precept, it's a Precept Prestige. Unlike car manufacturers, the RV manufacturers, a lot of times when they have a good name brand, for example, Forest River Georgetown was the number one selling um, Class A for Forest River, and it did really well. So for their luxury level, they called it a Georgetown XL because the Georgetown name sold very well. Little fun fact, for Coachman, uh, Coachman's Tier 4 used to be called an Encounter, and their Murata was like a Tier 2, but the Murata sold very well. So now their Tier 4, they call it a Murata Select. Uh, and finally, for Winnebago, the reason why there's an asterisk by the Sightseer and the Atasca Sun Nova is because for 2019, they have uh, stopped producing those brands. But don't worry, just like how the Coachman Encounter got changed to the Murata Select, Winnebago will be coming out with another Tier 4 motorhome, and it's going to be called something else. So those are all the high-end class Gas A motorhomes for 2019. But more importantly than the manufacturer or the brand, honestly, it's the dealership that you're buying it from. Because if you buy a high-end class A gas motorhome from a crappy dealership that has a crummy service department, it doesn't matter. Really, what you really want to look for when you're looking for uh, any type of RV, especially a high-end class A gas, you want to look for which floor plan fits you the best, which interior decor you're the most happy with, and which dealership you're buying it from. If at the end of the day it's a Thor Challenger or Georgetown XL or a Coachman Murata Select, get that one. Don't get a Tiffin Allegro or a Newmar Baystar or a Winnebago Sightseer just because the manufacturer has a great name. Hear me out. Newmar, Tiffin, Winnebago, they all make great RVs. What I'm saying is, all eight of those brands that are Tier 4s, you're getting that same quality Class A gas motorhome. Well, that's my two cents. Thanks so much for watching. Do me a huge favor. Leave a comment below. Tell me if you like this video. And tell me if you agree with me with the tier level of motorhomes. Or, if you disagree, not a problem. Leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear why you disagree. I, again, this channel is the world's only unbiased RV review channel. This is not my way or the highway. This is an open debate, and I would love to hear your feedback. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, make sure you hit that circle button to subscribe. Send me an email if you have any questions, mattsrvreviews at gmail.com, and follow me on every social media network out there, Matt's RV Reviews. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.